Hello and welcome back. This is Steve at Bucks Coins. I have three two pound coins to show you. They're going to be part of my um, collection that I'll tell you about in one second. I'm going to show you just this one obverse. This is a obverse of Queen Elizabeth II. It's a two pound coin from the UK and it's from the year ready for it? 2002. They are all circulating coins. Now I have a set of these coins now and this is I have a, a special collection of coins that represent sporting occasions and this is the 2002 Commonwealth Games held in Manchester. I already have one coin which is a Scotland coin and the Scotland coin that I have in the set already has a mintage of 771,750. This one's the England coin and it's the second uh, most minted coin and it stands at 650,500. I'm sure you all know but the only difference between the actual obverse is this round cartouche here which has the flag of the nation in. We have uh, and this one, the flag of England, the St George's Cross. The next one that I was missing from the series is the Welsh Dragon. Let's get it in there. Uh, inside the cartouche, you have the runner with putting her arms up to show that she's won the race. The sprinter, maybe, or a athlete of some description in a running race and this one has the Dragon of Wales in the cartouche as I said the mintage is 588,500 and is the second lowest of the Commonwealth Games coins in mintage wise the lowest one and the last one that I need to complete the set in my sports album is a two pound Northern Ireland one. It's got the St George's Cross with the um, iron with the um, cladded, the clad fist of armoured clad fist to represent Ulster or Northern Ireland. It has a mintage of 485,500 and it's the rarest two pound coin uh, commemorative wise. So, I have the three lowest mintage of the coins that I needed to collect to complete the set for the Commonwealth Games. I will be showing you my sports album a little bit later on in the year when we get the two pounds, uh, sorry, for the 50p coin for the Team GB. At that point I'll have these and the Team GB in the album and I'll run through the whole lot of my sports collection. I'll probably also, if you haven't already seen it, I have an 11 euro German coin as well to go in there for the 2024 football championships. So, those are the three coins that I wanted to show you in this video. You've seen them all before. They will go into my sports collection. I do have also have these uh, four coins that make up the Commonwealth series also in my May uh, date run album as well. But when I think it was Change Checker did their thing that said uh, we want you to collect all, try and collect the Olympic coins, I got my second full set of Olympic coins. For, in the album and I've also added all the um, ones that you don't get an awful lot of which are um, things like the um, that haven't were, were not released such as the two pound FA Cup coin uh, there was also a Team GB for the Tokyo Olympics so there are a fair few that are in NIFC coins and um, 
be an interesting album for you to, for me to show you in the very near future. Anyway, that's this particular video completed. If you've enjoyed it, I would love you to give me the thumbs up. It didn't cost you anything. And also, if you enjoyed it, if, you, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, could you please think about doing so? I am trying to get to 425 by the end of this calendar year of 2024. And so far I have, I think, about 307 at the beginning of June. And I'd very much like to up that level as soon as possible. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit um, congested today. If, you've in, uh, if you're having a hunt, I hope you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, then I hope you get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, thank you for staying to the end of the video, and until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, thank you, and bye-bye. Ta-da now!